ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Ramzan and today we have another special formation guide for you guys. And this one is pretty much requested because the 451 second variation is finally a, a formation in FIFA 21 that we feel you can hold possession very well and also use this to maintain the lead or even, yeah, I mean, if you're a, a kind of the Guardiola style or Barcelona style type of play, you can definitely use this formation. Uh, if you want to play like that but let's not forget guys if you want to have a nice team jersey or maybe a nice training suit then ch ch check out the link in the description don't forget to join our discord and let's like always just sit back relax and enjoy like always we're starting off with the tactics and the instructions for the 451 second variation so what you're gonna need is to have a striker uh, a pretty agile strike, pretty good striker that just is pacey, can hold up the ball, can turn away from a man. You guys know the real drill. Wingers that are very pacey as well. And two midfielders that are good going forward as well as one holding midfielder. And obviously fullbacks, uh, you guys know the drill. Five width on the defensive style, eight depth. This eight depth, you've seen it in our last couple of formation guides. Like, it's just so good, just use it. Don't ask questions, use it. The automatic offside drops are just very good. Offensive style, we keep a pretty high width. Um, you can even put this up to maybe eight, nine. Um, if it's a little bit too much for you, you can definitely tune this down to like five to six. Players in box on four and one on one on corner kicks and free kicks because uh, we use this formation pretty much to maintain the lead. Then for the instructions, the most interesting to instructions to this is definitely the left and right center mid balanced attack cover center you can use cover wing as well if you feel like you're being um, overwhelmed uh, down the wing because it's uh, maybe uh, somebody playing a free back or when they're pressing um, and stay wide getting behind on the right and left mid is also very important come back on defense on that as well i think uh, uh, timo was recording is forgot to put it on the right mid but you want to have that on your left and right mid as well. You can even put in get into the box for cross, but I think it's a bit of an overkill um, because getting behind kind of probably uses the same kind of runs in this case. Um, but definitely experiment experiment with that yourselves. Fullbacks stay back on at while attacking and the striker on target man and come back on defense. Okay, so the first thing that the 451 offers you is the ability to hold possession very easily. Because of these three center midfielders, we always have passing options and even in between them, but also to reach the wings very easily. Um, because like what I showed you there, like if you would have played the, the one of the central midfielders, you would have had an easy pass towards the fullback. And you'll start noticing once you play this formation, um, that you have these passing opportunities very often here again like if we reach Bruno we do need to turn away but it's 19 minute people are putting a bit of pressure on us and the left back has so much space but here as well like we could have even played it back easily with our ward to uh, 1v Saka who's at the right side but like we do here we do turn away and we play an easy pass to Roberto and there's just 20 30 yards of space that we uh, can easily run into and um, yeah, obviously it's a 90th minute and Roberto Carlos is Timo's favorite uh, player probably in the game. So that's why he, uh, he shot it probably. Um, but right here, this is also something that you no start noticing is very good about a 4-5-1. When you're in position down the wing, you always have these midfielders that are like supportive. Like they will be there and you will have a lot of triangle options in the game itself. Because right here, we have two options, the midfielder and the wing. And now you just see it's a free flowing of football and it's just very beautiful. So how do you optimally utilize the wings in the 451? So right here, this is something that you'll start uh, having a lot. When you retrieve the ball of your opponent, like in your back line, you can play the midfielder and that's where there is space. And the opponent here had to commit with either his fullback or his midfielder. He did with his fullback one second. We just get the space down the wing. Because we have this getting behind on the right and left mid. 
and it's just so nice to have uh, the option down the wing. If you are like to play down the wings, to look for passes inside, back inside and stuff, this formation will suit you perfectly. Here again, it's that getting behind instruction on the right and left mid. Ronaldinho is making the run um, because of this instruction and it's just a crazy pass from Memphis there who is now playing LCM, uh, I think, so he is on balance. Um, and yeah, just it just offers you so much space down the wing. You see here again, when you play uh, your right or left center mid on that side, the winger will just make a run. And um, yeah, if they don't track him, you can't play him. And the through balls are just so good on this game that you ju guys just know you have to play them. Here again, we have position with left center mid, left mid opens up in space in behind. But also, like I said, we have the left and right center mid on balance, so they should be helping us in the attack, right? Here, this is also just general of the formation that you just have this three midfielders that are always in. But you can see Bruno here, because now it's Bruno again, who was on left center mid on balance. Um, he is a little bit more running forward, so it allows you for like quick passing moves to move up the pitch. And even if you can't move up quickly, like you can see here, Nani is like holding the ball, but then Awar, our right center mid, who is on balance, is going to make a run in behind. And that's the thing. This formation, the balanced center mids are really free flowing. So that's why you want to have pretty good uh, midfielders that go forward. So like Awar and Bruno, they have a good dribble, good shooting, two, uh, two uh, or I mean, I should say four star weak foot. So they're pretty good on both right and left foot, right? And here, what you will see um, when you're playing this formation is in these situations you do have a lot of passing options. It's not like there's getting a lot of players in the central of the pitch getting in behind, making crazy runs in behind, but you, you can always play them. Like you can always pass to them and like just maybe do one move and get past your opponent, right? And that is why Tiki Taka is going to be very effective with this formation. And uh, I, we do have a little clip here uh, that Timo is very proud of playing some beautiful Guardiola or even Arteta ball. So this is really what it's all about offensively, but defensively this formation is just generally st solid, strong, it's the way you can call it, because right here what we do have extra of the 4-5-1 is that we can press up high on the pitch because we have three central midfielders and once somebody is on his own pitch and he's taking the passes through the middle, we can always select the midfielder and try and get in front of him because we still have two left, right? So it allows you the easy possibility to just press up high with at least one of your midfielders, which we do here again. Bruno, we're pressing up high, but we still have Renato that is like covering all of the dangerous passes. And it's just a very good formation in general, guys. I'm telling you, if you get used to this formation, you will definitely start having success with it. And especially to hold leads or uh, just to play a bit more of possession play. But anyway, we came to the conclusion of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's pretty late in the game. We're trying to still deliver content that is fresh to you guys. Um, but yeah, doing our best. Let us know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Renzo. Ciao, ciao.